The men accused of killing well-known Memphis rapper Young Dolph will soon have their day in court on murder charges. That case is moving forward as police continue their investigation. Thanks for joining us on the News at 5. I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Johnson Johnson and Cornelia Smith are set to be arraigned Wednesday. Johnson was arrested by U.S. Marshals in Indiana after spending weeks avoiding arrest. Smith was already in jail facing a list of other violent charges. WRG Shea Arthur is live tonight with what's next in the case, Shay? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Greg. As you well know, this is a case so many are following so closely. Those men were set to appear before a judge today, but it was pushed until tomorrow. Tonight, they're here in 201 Poplar with no bond. In less than 24 hours, Justin Johnson, also known as rapper Straight Drop, and Cornelia Smith are set to appear before a judge after a grand jury indicted them for the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. We're going to do everything we can to pursue justice for these victims, just like we do all day, every day. Both men have recently appeared in court on separate charges, and records show both men have been in trouble before. In 2011, Smith was convicted of attempted aggravated robbery. He was sentenced to three years in prison. In 2018, he was charged with aggravated kidnapping in a domestic violence case, but a grand jury did not indict him. Justin Johnson's rap sheet is a bit longer. Take a look. The district attorney's office tells us he was placed on the violent juvenile sex offender registry in 2015 at age 17. In 2017, he shot into an East Memphis bowling alley with an assault rifle, injuring multiple people. He was arrested 10 days later and held on a quarter million dollar bond. In May of 2017, Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of aggravated assault and sentenced to five years in prison. But after serving only nine months, a judge granted him probation. In May of 2018, he was arrested again, this time on gun and marijuana charges, then released on a $7,500 bond set by a judge. Prosecutors filed a petition to revoke his probation, and he was rearrested a week later. Days later, Johnson was released on a new $15,000 bond. Two months later, the feds took over Johnson's state gun case. He was federally indicted and convicted in February 2019 and served a little more than two years in federal prison before he was released in May of 2021 for good behavior by the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Then, months later, he's accused of killing young Dolph. We asked District Attorney Amy Wyrick about his history today. What has to happen is the legislature needs to get serious about these are what these laws mean in the state of Tennessee. And if you break this law, here's what it means in terms of accountability and what sentence you're going to do. The offenders deserve that clarity. The victims of crime deserve that clarity. Again, Stephanie Gregg, those two men here in jail tonight. No bond has been set. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Shay. And a third man, Shundell Barnett, is also charged with being an accessory after the fact. Authorities believe he protected a known fugitive, Justin Johnson. The DA's office says Barnett is still in Indiana for security reasons. There's no word on when he'll be brought back to Shelby County to face charges.